I heard a pop probably four rounds ago and I was just uh, kind of wondering what it was. I didn't get out to look at it. Let's have a look on the ground, see if there's any buckwheat we're blowing out the back. That also looks good to me. Trailer's just about empty. Alright guys, as you can tell, we have started buckwheat harvest. This is the first field right here that we harvested. I still have about maybe five acres down in the middle of the field right there. And then this field is done being harvested. Since it's October, the mornings are a lot more dewy and there's no way we could combine buckwheat in the morning. So we have the T6 and the sweep on the back there. Basically what we're going to do is in the mornings, I'll be in the tractor with either the undercutter or the disc. We'll work some of this ground that we've just harvested and then later in the afternoon, probably around noon or one o'clock, we'll jump back in the combine and go ahead and keep harvesting the buckwheat. So we'll use this sweep as a first pass and lop off any like morning glory to kind of set them back and then we'll come back with the disc and then get it planted to a winter barley But First things first, let's go ahead, lower this thing down all the way all the way. Probably pick a lower gear, get a little engine preset, four wheel drive. Just uh, fixing the machine. Also, uh, on a completely unrelated side note, have a look at this uh, ram here on the cylinder. Look at that gap right there. That uh, 
doesn't really look right. I mean, I wonder, I heard a pop probably four rounds ago and I was just uh, kind of wondering what it was. I didn't get out to look at it. That's what that pop was. That ram, the yoke just broke right off of there. As far as it affecting the implement, I don't think it's hurting it at all because I can pick it up, turn around, and go back the other way. So we're gonna run it as is, maybe later this afternoon. Dad could work on this, or me. Probably not me because we need to be combining in the afternoon. I don't know. We're gonna keep going because it's working. At some point, would it be smart to fix that cylinder? Probably not. Anyways, let's get back to fixing the machine real quick and then we'll go back to sweeping, undercutting, whatever you call it, this field. Those ones look good now. All right, so you can see we're basically caught up to the last pass of where I was with the combine last night. Now that we've harvested about 20 acres, let's go ahead and get out. Make sure uh, that we're not blowing anything out the back of the combine. Right, now we got all the screens set correct. That looks good to me. Let's have a look on the ground. See if there's any buckwheat we're blowing out the back. That also looks good to me. I think the combine's set right. We got the screen set correct, cylinder RPM, concave set, everything's good to go. We can keep cutting or harvesting, whatever, or picking up, whatever you want to call it.
No, just fixing the machine. Also on a side note, uh, we got a chain right here that kind of goes along in there and then up here somewhat. Wow. Uh, actually looking at it now, that bearing is out. We got a bearing out. This is warm. We're gonna have to get that fixed. Good thing we stopped to fix this bolt up here. And uh, now we know that's not right. We're gonna have to do something about that in the morning. Now hopefully that bearing doesn't get too hot. We only got like another 200 yards to the end of the row here. And then we should probably call it at night because I don't really want to run with that bearing hot like it is. Might start a fire. Let's play it safe tonight. All right, and that is 